Hey everyone, it's been a long time since I made a tutorial, I sincerely apologize for this late upload. The reason I couldn't upload any videos because my computer is at the verge of death. I hope you forgive me for my late tutorial, and I hope you're having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create this super zoom in effect in After Effects. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super awesome. Before we begin make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as Super Zoom In. Click OK. Now import the stock videos to our project panel like this. Now we have three stock videos and all of them are 1920 by 1080. You just select the video you want, and drag it to the sequence panel like this. It will automatically create a video sequence based on the video properties including frame per seconds. We will delete the audio since we don't need that. Right click on it and select unlink. It will unlink the audio from the video now you can able to select the audio file separately and delete it. Drag the second video and place right after the first one in the sequence. Now drag the third video like this. Let's play it. We now have all the stock videos lined up. We are going to create that super zoom effect from first video to second and from second to third. Select all the videos and right click on it. Select replace it with After Effects composition. What it will do is that Premiere Pro takes all the three videos that we selected and will import it in After Effects. This is called dynamic link between Premiere Pro and After Effects. Let's save it. Now we have our three videos imported in After Effects. Whatever the effect we add on to this project, will automatically update in Premiere Pro. So you don't need to create then save it and import it in Premiere Pro which you will hate to do that. Now we can start creating the super zoom effect. I will change the video quality to third so we can edit smoothly without suffering from buffering. Right click and create a new adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets panel and type in transform. Drag the transform effect to our adjustment layer like this. Now go to effects and select transform. Place the indicator 5 frames before the end of the first video. Keyframe the scale. Take the indicator to the end of the video and increase its size. Like this. 
go to next frame which is the starting frame of the next video, decrease its size smaller than normal, like this, now take the indicator to 5 frames from the start. Change the scale back to 100. Let's play it. That looks like, what the heck is that? But be patient we will get there in no time. In the effects and presets panel type in motion tile. Drag it and place it above our transform effect in the adjustment layer. Place the indicator at last frame of the first video. Open the motion tile effect and keyframe both the output width and output height. Enable the mirror edges option in the motion tile. Take the indicator to next frame and increase both the output width and height like this. Now we covered all the black area with this effect. As you see our video looks mirrored, because of the mirror edges effect. Take the indicator to where our last scale keyframe is. Change both the output width and height back to normal which is 100. Now let's play it and see how it looks. That looks not bad. Now again go to effects presets panel and type an offset. Drag it to our adjustment layer like this. Place the indicator where the first scale keyframe is. Keyframe the shift center in the offset. Take the indicator to the last frame of the video. The reason we're using the offset is so that we can make the zoom effect go to the place we want. I want my zoom to go through this small island so I will drag it to the center using the offset point like this. Now as you can see that the zoom effect takes us to the small island. Drag the indicator to the next frame and bring the offset back to its position which is 960 by 540. Place the indicator at last scale keyframe and give it a normal keyframe. Now let's play it. That looks almost good. Press U to bring the keyframes only. It's time to add the final effect. Go to effects and presets panel and type in force motion blur. Drag the CC force motion blur to our adjustment layer. In the effects control panel change the motion blur samples to 40. And shutter angle to 250 or 300. It's your choice. The more shutter angle means the more blurriness will happen in the zoom effect, along with hours and hours of render time. Now let's play the final effect. That looks amazing. Now highlight all the keyframes and drag it one frame to the right. Play it again. Now that looks perfect, the playthrough may look slow because my computer is hanging on the cliff of death. Now make sure all the keyframes are selected and press Ctrl C to copy the keyframes. Take the indicator to 5 frames before the end of second video. Press Ctrl V to paste it. Drag it one frame to the right like this. Let's play it. That looks good. But as you can see that zoom in is little off, because this offset is used for the previous video. You should change the offset to each video as per your requirement. Place the indicator at the last frame of the second video, then drag the offset point to the center like this.
Now that looks perfect and awesome. Place the indicator at the starting keyframe and press Ctrl Shift D to split the layer in two. Delete the separated layer by pressing backspace. Press U to bring the keyframes. Now take the indicator to the last keyframe. Again press Ctrl Shift D to split it. The reason we're splitting this layer is because of the motion blur. The motion blur will apply to all of the video, because our adjustment layer is placed on top from start to end. Again take the indicator to next starting keyframe and press Ctrl Shift D again to split it, and delete this separated layer. Do the same to the last remaining part. Since we removed the unwanted motion blur let's play it from the beginning. That looks absolutely stunning. We now created the zoom effect, but we don't have the time to create an effect like this every day to edit video. To make it simple we will create a preset of it, so we can use it whenever we can without creating it from scratch. To create preset select all the effects in the effects control panel by shift clicking. Go to animation and select save animation preset. Since I already saved this effect as super zoom, I don't need to save this one. After you saved it, then it should be available in the effects and presets. In the effects and presets panel type in super zoom. Now we have the effect and we can apply it whenever we want. Since we created this effects here, it should be updated as well in the Premiere Pro project. Let's jump into Premiere Pro and see how it looks. Let's play it. That looks amazing. As you see our zoom effect is automatically updated in Premiere Pro because of the dynamic link. You can now continue your editing or just press Ctrl M and export it. We finally at the end of our tutorial. Before we end this video I just want you to know that. Your support is what giving me the strength to make more tutorials. So please keep giving me the support that's all I need. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you have any doubt please feel free to comment in the comment section, I will reply to it as soon as I can, hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this, hit the like button if you like this video, until our next tutorial stay happy, thank you.